Hello friend, welcome to our channel Economics Study Point. In this video, I will discuss warm Russian equilibrium. This question is taken from Igno MA Economics first year course code AMEC 001 oblique 101. Title Microeconomics Analysis Assignment Year 2020-2021. Question number 2A Part B. And question number 2A Part A1 I have already uploaded on my channel. It is available there. Before starting discussion of this question, I request you please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for all notifications so that my latest video notification come to you easily. Now let us start discussion of this question. So first uh, question is it telling us what is the significance? What is the significance of the slope of ray passing through preto optimal point and indomain point? Okay. Preto optimal point and indomain point. So preto optimal point where two person in the friend's curve tangent to each other that is the equilibrium point okay and before starting first thing assuming i am uh, i am thinking about an economy an economy there are two person consider an economy consists of two person a and b portion a and B and two goods two goods one and two and this is translate into as worth parts there are two person A and B okay two goods goods one and goods two Goods 1 is measured horizontally, goods 2 is measured vertically. Okay. Here at the point of equilibrium, each person is choosing her most, the most preferred, preferred bundle of goods. Bundle of goods. That means here consumer choice exhaust uh, total supply yeah that is total demand equal to total supply consumer total preference equal to total amount available in economy okay and each one each person is choosing his her most preferable bundle at current price and it lead to uh, an equilibrium point where total supply equal to total demand. Okay. First thing. Here person A. Person A. The amount here. Here the person uh, the amount person A want to purchase of goods one is equal to the amount person B want to sell of goods 1. Okay. Here total demand for goods 1 equal to total supply. We can describe this situation. We can say it. Market is in equilibrium. Okay. Similarly total amount. Okay. Total amount that each person wants to purchase of each goods equal to total amount available such type of equilibrium is a known market equilibrium competitive equilibrium and walrusian equilibrium okay when total demand equal to total supply such equilibrium is a called walrusian equilibrium each of these things here each of these things 
telling the same thing a set of prices p1 p2 okay a set of prices p1 p2 each person is choosing he her most preferred bundle at current price and all consumer choice are compatible compatible in this sense total demand equal to total supply compatible that means means two goods are used together in harmony but that means every person is choosing his preferred according to their choice bundle of goods okay as we know that when a person chooses his preferred bundle at current price that means marginal rate of substitution between substitution between two goods one and two for person a must be equal to ratio of their prices and when all the person are facing same price it means the marginal rate of substitution between goods 1 and 2 for all consumer must be equal to must be equal to ratio of their price okay so this thing i have shown in this way marginal rate of substitution between two goods for person a equal to marginal rate of substitution between two goods for person b equal to ratio of their prices okay and every equilibrium and equilibrium has a property okay at the point of equilibrium each person in difference curve tends to budget line okay and we know that every portion budget line the slope of budget line every person every person slope of budget line every person has a budget line whose slope is a equal to minus p1 by p2 it means each person in difference curve must be tangent to each other suppose in difference curve of person 1 and 2 tangent this point at the point e to each other this point is a denoting equilibrium point now i have discussed theoretically now it is a time to uh, have mathematically discussion about the uh, warlasian equilibrium okay everything is the same uh, same only we are going to discuss it mathematically an economy is two person goods one and good, goods two x1 a x1 a which is the function of p1 p2 okay x1 a that is that means person a demand for goods one okay x1 b which is the function of p1 p2 that is person b demand for goods one x2 a which is the function of p1 p2 that is the a person demand for goods 2 x2 b which is the function of p1 p2 that is the person b demand for goods 2 and w a in domain person a in domain okay w1 a that is the person a in domain for goods 1 and w2 a person a in domain for goods 2 similarly w b that is the total in domain held by person b w1 b that is the person b initial in domain for goods 1 and w2 b person b in domain for goods 2 okay we can describe an equilibrium through a set of price p1 p2 at the point of equilibrium at the equilibrium point total supply equal to total demand okay d equal to total demand equal to total supply x1 a which is the function of p1 p2 plus 
x1 v which is the function of p1 p2 equal to endowment of goods 1 for person a plus endowment of goods 1 for person b okay total demand equal to total supply for goods 1 similarly we can write it for goods 2 x2 a which is the function of p1 p2 plus x2 b which is the function of p1 p2 equal to w1 uh, a uh, w2 a plus w2 b okay shifting these term from rhs to lhs side both become negative you can see here x1 a p1 p2 plus x1 b p1 p2 minus w1 a minus w1 b equal to 0 x2 a p1 p2 plus x2 b p1 p2 minus w2 a minus w2 b equal to 0. Rearranging this thing, it can be written in this form x1 a p1 p2 minus w1 a representing access demand that is net demand for goods 1 for person A. Similarly, first term uh, is subtracted by W1A and second term X1B which is the function of P1, P2 minus W1B. The, it is a showing access demand for commodity 1 for person B. Similarly, it can be written <coughs> equal to 0. X2 A which is the function of P1 P2 minus W2 A okay and plus X2 B which is the function of P1 P2 minus W2 B equal to 0. Okay, and this term, first term, x1 a, which is the function of p1, p2 minus w in domain held by uh, goods 1 for person b, it can be denoted e1 a, that is the access, person a access demand for goods 1, which is the function of p1 p2 plus e1 b this is the person b access demand for goods 1 which is the function of p1 p2 and equal to 0 and x2 a which is the function of p1 p2 indicating person a access demand that is the net demand for goods 2 plus E2B which is the function of P1, P2 denoting access demand for a person B access demand for goods 1 and Z1 which is the function of P1, P2 Z1 denoting aggregate access demand for goods 1 and similarly Z2 which is the function of P1, P2 equal to 0 Z2 denoting Aggregate access demand for goods 2 equal to 0. Access demand that is the net demand equal to 0 indicating total demand equal to total, total supply. Okay. This is this, this thing I have to prove and I did it. Thanks for watching my video till then. Jai Hind.